Alright, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Chris once again and welcome to my channel. So kung bago ka lang pala sa akin channel, please wag mo namang kalimutan like, share, and subscribe, and click na rin natin ang notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga next video. Alright guys, so eto na naman tayo. Medyo napatagal na naman natin upload kasi talagang napaka-busy ulit. <laughs> Alright, so sorry guys. Pero at least ang ating i-upload ngayon is napaka-importante regarding update sa ating mga sinusubaybayang mga project. Especially sa Devikin. So ngayon, ano na ba ngayon yung update? And syempre, may maraming nagtatanong bakit daw yung price is unti-unting bumababa? Bakit? From up, naging down. So yung price action, masyadong malaro ngayon at nakakatakot. Especially sa mga investor. Alright? So kasi, kumbaga, pero una sa lahat, bago ko makalimutan, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research and, it, and invest at your own risk. And don't forget that don't invest the money that you cannot afford to lose. Alright? That is applicable lagi sa any investment na papasukin nyo. Yang ganyang klaseng mindset. Kung meron kang extra, pwede. Pero kung yun yung parang pinaka life savings mo, so mag-isip-isip ka na. Alright? Kasi, kumbaga, pwedeng mag -failed. Pwede rin maging successful ang isang project. Alright, so yun nga. Ang question ngayon natin is bakit pag-check natin dito is ano, nang, ano ngayon nangyayari sa DVK? Alright? So yan. So, alam ko nag-start ata dito mga 0.8, no? Swerte yung nag-start. Pero ako kasi is ganitong price nung nakapag-start. Pero siguro ilang hours lang naman nangyayari yun. So ngayon, reset tayo ngayon. Ika nga, sabi nga sa mga sa mga crypto believers or token believers dyan. Crypto believers, syempre, i-general na natin is buy the dip. So guys, so yun naman ang isa sa pinakamaganda. As long as you believe in the project. So eto na yung time nyo para makabili ng magandang price. Kasi once nagkaroon ulit ng progress and update ang isang project at gumanda na naman ng takbo ng kanilang system, automatic magkakaroon ng effect sa price action. So, ibig sabihin, tatas uli yan and as long as naging popular din yung isang project or to, uh, crypto coins or token is automatic. Tatas din ang value. Kung yung mga meme coins nga dyan, uh, mga meme coins nga dyan, guys, is, di ba, more in popularity popularity rate lang. <clears throat> Pero, gumaganda yung price action on. So, yung pa kayong mga solid. Kaya, yun, titingnan nyo guys yung uh, yung roadmap, yung tokenomics, punta sa website. So, checkin nyo lahat kung maganda ba yung project, kung ma-forecast nyo ba natatagal yung isang project. Alright? Para maiwasan ang mga rug pull dyan. So, eto, napili ko yung DVK guys. Kasi, nung nakita ko yung concept nila, ang maganda, maganda yung concept nila. At the same time is, nakakonect to sa Clever Blockchain which is yung Clever Blockchain is talagang isang solid project na rin yun. Magka, uh, clever, I mean Clever, isang solid project na rin yan na magkakaroon ng Clever, sariling Blockchain na ang Clever. Kasi right now, we are nagbe-base tayo ngayon sa TRX. Alright? Tapos guys, uh, pakiusap ko, pakitapos tong aking ano, pakitapos tong aking video kasi meron akong isi-share na bonus sa inyo. Regarding ko, for example, kung gusto nyo makatipid sa TRX So, okay, so pakitapos tong aking video para at least makita nyo yung legitimacy nung ano Para makatipid kayo ng TRX Once na okay kayo na mag-go sa DVK Kasi kailangan nyo, siya, kailangan nyo ng TRX Alright? So, kaya pakitapos yung video natin Okay? Oops Kaya ka na Alright, so yan. So, yun yung price. So, na-update na, na siya. So, back to normal ulit. Point 11. Kasi kanina, point 10. So, yun. So, ito yung clever exchange uh, clever exchange na uh, web. So, bago ito, pwede yung testing eh. 
So available talaga siya sa mobile app actually. Pero ngayon at least meron siyang webbase. Right? So konting ano, ito naman yung shop ng Clever NFT kung saan kayo bibili naman ng NFT nyo. Devikids NFT. And ano naman yung bagong update? Bago natin makalimutan, syempre yung importante. So, based sa Discord, guys, ako na mag-update sa inyo para at least kung busy kayo. Ito, ito yung pinaka-latest update. So, dito, na, dito eh, ito yung connection ng kakaroon ng price action. So, mga taas siya na nag-umpisa, okay? Pero, basahin ko rin. In this article, we will do a second post-mortem on the shop going over what went wrong and reflecting on lessons learned so as to prevent mistakes from recurring in future. Based on said lessons, we will further discuss the, the, the how and why of changes made to the Debikin's roadmap. Alright. So, yan. So, yan yung, self, uh, yung realization. So, the Debikin shop opening on September 8 was far from perfect and simply put, it was a failure. Yes? Na-experience namin yan, honestly. Na-experience din ng mga ano yan. Nagkaroon ng problema talaga sa unang launch nila. Alright? On the bright side, falling hard on the beginning help us realize many points we need to improve on. Alright, so we back tayo. So yun, doon nagkakaroon ng problema sa price action. Alright, kasi syempre, nung nakita na nakita ng mga holders or yung magpapatronize isang project is napakaganda ng roadmap, napakaganda ng pra, yung maganda yung mangyayari ng project. So marami syempre yung mga investor na nagkagusto at syempre nag-invest dun sa project na yon naglabas so kaya nagkakaroon to ng ano ng uh, pump magkakaroon ng pump kasi syempre excited yung mga investor dahil maglo-launch na yung isang project so magkakaroon niya ng pump so tataas yan alright kumaga tataas yung presyo niyan ayan kasi naiipon na nagkakaroon ng value then after nung September 8 na launch is yun nga Unexpected, nagkaroon ng glitch or nagkaroon ng problema. So, ibig sabihin, hindi nakabili. May mga nakabili by soft mint, slippage nga, kumbaga nag-slip yung iba. So, uh, ako, in my personal experience, syempre, hindi rin ako nakabili. So, yun. So, affected din. So, syempre, dahil hindi ka nakabili at nagkaroon ng ganong problema, ano mangyayari? So, pwede mag-pull out yung mga investor, right? So, pwede sila mag-pull out. Especially, syempre, kumbaga normal yun na dismaya sila, nag-pull out. Pero syempre, kanya-kanya yan. So like me, in my opinion, kahit na dismaya ako sa launching, pero kasi napaka-active ng community, napakaganda ng community, talagang ine-explain naman lahat doon kung ano yung nangyari, and honest sila. And syempre, sabi nga, naniniwala kasi sa project, dapat maniwala kasi sa mga devs. So may mga report naman na nangyari, eh, yun. So sinagot naman nila. So yun, hindi may na... Kahit pa paano naapektuhan yung price, nagda-dump yung price. Pero syempre, as a holder and syempre, as a believer ng isang project, papasok ka sa long term ngayon. Right? Kumbaga, syempre, may staking, may staking features naman sila sa Clever app. So, yun. Yun yung nistake ko na lang. Alright? Para dumami. Kasi kumbaga, naniniwala ako sa, sa project eh. So, sooner or later, at least, I believe makaka-bounce back din yun. So especially talagang baby pa naman kung bagabagong project, talaga nandun yun. No? Pero ang maganda dito is na discover nila na maaga at the same time para ma-avoid to. So basahin natin. First, we need to be far more diligent in our development process since blockchain games are, for all accounts, uncharted waters when it comes to the intense variety of games out there. And therefore, solutions that address common or uncommon intricacies of blockchain gaming are not battle-tested or easily accessible. Our solution to synchronize the blockchain with a centralized server was a good lesson. Okay? Tuto sila doon. And how not to do it. And even after a group of effort on the shop, then done hand in hand with Clever, we had to completely revamp the shop to make it all work as efficiently as possible. Second, quality assurance or simply QA. Better known for bug testing and bug replication was an area for overlook and proper testing and guidelines are essential for projects of any size. We overestimated the shop feature and approach 
it as small herder rather than the very large one it turned out to be. And the, usual, and the usual extent of QA testing was not applied in our development. Okay. In response, we have hired dedicated QA personnel with numerous years of experience to assuage any fears and make sure that Devikid's users are given what they deserve in future launches. It also goes without mention that our confidence is delivering a proper server solution for the Debian's player base which kept increasing day over day was shaken. This led us to fully embrace our relationship with Clever as they have many years of experience working with scalable, scalable systems using blockchain technology. Moreover, we are actively looking to expand our server engineering team with experienced talent. On the bright side, while part of the development team was fully focused on revamping the shop solution, the actual game development of Devikins never halted, the g and the game itself is closely following planned schedule. However, again, we need to be overly vigilant to make sure Devikins is stable and our solutions are the exact ones needed to deliver the best experience possible. Our long-term roadmap will not change, as we want to keep pace to for Q3 2022 and Pace 3 for Q2 2023. But for our short-term roadmap, we want to make small adjustments. Our newly adjusted roadmap for December 2021 will begin with a close beta involving core gameplay for Pace 1. By close beta, we mean that Devikins will not be avail available for everyone from the start it will be by invitation. Alright guys, so ayan. So ayan yung mga magiging changes ngayon in development and realization sa nangyari. Kumbaga yung mga natutunan nila sa problemang uh, na-experience nila. Alright? Kumbaga hindi naman talaga ganun kadali sa isang nag-uumpisa pa lang. Talagang dun mo minsan malalaman na kung ready na ba or hindi pa ready. So at the same time, at least sa nangyaring to is mas patitibay nila yung kanilang plano at gagawin para mas maging stable at every step na gagawin nila especially sa mga launches or mga sa pag especially sa public is bago muna yun yun which is yun yung sinasuggest din namin sa doon sa community, community you have the voice here guys okay especially sa mga early adapters yan yan may mga bosses sila that's the right kumbaga mga pagbigay mga pagbigay sila ng suggestions and isa sa sinuggest din namin yun na Ayun nga, so magkaroon ng beta test and para before iano sa public. Kasi syempre, kumbaga, yung mga believers talaga, mga solid na yung ano yan, yung, yung paniniwala na sa project. So hindi sila basta-basta nasishaken ng mga problem. So unlike dun sa mga newbie and beginner, especially sa bago sa crypto world, is talagang mabilis yung maapektuhan, especially kung talagang hindi familiar sa kanilang pinapasok. Okay, so yon, so ngayon, ang maganda dito is talaga nagkaroon silang adjustment. So yung long term, long term ng roadmap is hindi na maapektuhan, pero yung short term kasi maapektuhan kasi nga kailangan adjustment and they have to make sure na yung kanilang ginagawa ngayon is masusubukan muna. Okay? So ang pinakamaganda is yung sa December kasi din yung magkakaroon ng start na Tamagotchi gameplay. So papatesting muna yan. All right, papatesting. So ito, ngayon yung konting insight pala bago ko makalimutan. Konting ambience. So yan. So as you can see. So excited tayo dyan. Okay. Then balik tayo. So yun yun. Again, so yun. Uh, Doon nagkakaroon tayo ng price action. So sa development. So depende po yan sa mga supporters, holders, and investor. So, nagdidepende yan kung naiinip na ba sila or hindi sila naiinip, willing pa ba sila mag magantay or hindi or talagang, nai yun nga, hindi na sila willing magantay. So, nagpo-pull out na sila or something. So, nagkakaroon ng price action. Pero dahil sa inaano ko is, kumbaga masyadong baby pa, at talagang very, nasa early stage pa is, always give them a chance. Any project, you should give them a, give them a chance. As long as ando naman yung commitment nila. At the same time, yung activeness and communication nila dun sa community. So, I think isa sa ano yun, good sign yun ng isang project. Okay. 
Why is that? The main reason is that we need to have a controlled environment to a lot of metrics and fully properly test systems from game gameplay itself to the back end. Our plan is to start with a small number of players and send more invites as we go until server stability reaches a set of predetermined KPIs. Key performance indicator. So hopefully is kasa yun nga kaso kasama yung mga early adapters dyan at the same time yung mga kumaga talaga yung nagpo-fully support para ma-test muna yung ano ma-test muna bago i-post sa public napaka-importante after the closed beta we plan to have an open beta period okay which mean which means things will be open for everyone who is interested in testing devikins o yan so yan isa yan isa yan sa uh, magiging magandang effect din at the same time magkakaroon din ng ano yan ng effect dun sa price action kasi babalik na yung ano yung yung nasasatisfied na yung mga holders at the same time yung mga new VEs na yung may kita na nila yung development na oh okay na pala yung nagiging ano nila ngayon so syempre dun papasok ngayon yung marami uli magpapatronize sa devkins this will be the main bar required to make sure we are fully prepared to release the game Close beta details and invitations will be released later down the line in advance of the beta itself and we plan to give preference to our early adopters. Okay, congrats Jen. We are a while at the same time reserving some spots for the broader oceans. So if you did not manage to participate in the DVK mining event, you still have a chance to be in the closed beta if you are interested. Once more, further details will be released in future. We hope that via this gradual release flow, we will be able to accomplish a solid Devikins launch. And we are fully committed to making Devikins a fun experience as well as rock solid title. All right, so yon, so yon, so yung mga nakapag-participate kasi DVK mining events sila yung mga naging early adapter. So. So nakita naman natin dito sa article na to is kumbaga malaki yung chance ng mga mga early adapters is talagang ma-testing muna. Kasi is kumbaga privilege privilege yun dahil talagang naniwala agad sila sa project kahit wala pa. Yun kasi yun, di ba? Doon kasi makikita kung gaano yung belief mo sa isang project kahit wala pa. So dahil isa sa magiging uh, privilege na sinuportahan agad nila, walang ano mga support agad sila so yun yun yung ano and syempre hindi pa naman huli ang lahat guys so yun kung katulad nito na discover mo tong aking channel so discover mo tong aking video and marami akong mga upload dyan kung paano mag start or paano makabili ng devikins nft paano makapag invest sa dvk token so maring pwede kumbaga pwede ka pang humabol at pwede ka pang mag start kasi nasa early stage pa talaga tayo as in baby So kaya para sa akin, once you support this kind of project, is satisfied ka and hindi ka basta-basta na shaken, hindi ka basta-basta nagpapanik sa price kasi tumaga battle and tested ka na. And syempre sa mga sa mga solid uh, DVK diyan, DVK holders. So yon, ito yung isa sa pinakamagandang update and once again, so bago ko makalimutan, kung bago ka lang pala sa akin channel, Please don't forget to na supportahan ako. Like, share, and subscribe and click na rin natin notification bell para update ka sa aking mga next video at para makapag-upload uli ako ng mga video natin. All right guys. So yun lang ating quick update ba and hopefully yun nga. Pwede nating consider as quick update kasi napaka-importante nitong announcement na to at para magkaroon din tayo ng kalinawan kung bakit yung price action ngayon is malayong diferensya sa una at ngayon. Alright? Pero for me, this is the best. If you still believe in the project, this is the best time to invest, syempre. This is the best time to buy. Alright? Kasi ito, kumbaga, tumaas ang presyo talaga nito. We feel yung taas ng presyo nito. Pero because dahil long-term holder kami, so price action is hindi, ganong, hindi naman ganong ka-importante. Kumbaga, maging importante na lang yun. Once na namit na natin yung goal natin after one year and yung progress ng isang project is talagang napakaganda na so yun yun so baga magtatanim muna tayo guys ngayon yun yung ating ano so it's up to you kung ano yung goal mo 
So iba-iba tayo ng goal So ngayon ang goal ko kasi tanim-tanim lang talaga ta- Tanim-tanim lang talaga ako And syempre always check the updates Kung ano yung improvement And syempre sinishare ko lang kung ano yung aking opinion dun sa project And hopefully at least uh, nag-enjoy kayo Okay guys, so so yun lang Maraming salamat sa inyong time Okay, so see you next time uh, See you next time guys Okay, sa aking next video Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yon, naputo pa yun. So guys, uh, ito pala. Another good update. Ako makalimutan. So ang DVK Devikins is nasa coin market cap na. Number one, number one aggr- uh, ag- aggregator ng coins. So coin market cap. Type nyo lang, nandun na tayo. Wala pang data guys kasi sabi sobrang bago pa nga. Pero contracts is Tron tayo kasi Tron blockchain ang ating ginagamit as of now. Okay? So, yan. So, syempre, bago ko makalimutan, guys, yung bonus natin. Alright? Gusto nyo makatipid ng... Kung gusto nyo makatipid ng... Tron. Okay. Kung gusto nyo makatipid ng Tron, share ko to. Mm. Alright, guys, ha. Kita nyo naman. So, ito yung bonus natin, guys, sa inyong, sa inyong pakikinig na hopefully nag-enjoy kayo at talagang napatayin tulog. Alright. So, ito, ito. Dito ako bumili, guys, ng ano, ng, ng, ng TRX, actually. Dito ako bumili ng TRX. And as you can see, and Liz Miguel, alright, great. Yan. Kasi natuwa ako sa kanya So, shinery ko Bumili uli ako Actually, ng TRX Bumili ako before Ng 585 Sana makita agad natin Kaya, yeah, tinan ready Okay, guys So, ito yung aking unang transaction Nung tinesting ko to So, kasi Baga, nagtiwala agad tayo, eh, no? <laughs> Actually Kasi nung time na, no? Na magla-launch, di ba? Magla-launch yung ano Yung September 8 is yun, bumili tayo Bumili tayo ng ano Para makabili ng NFT Ay, September 8, sorry pala, uh, October So, para makabili tayo yung second launch nila After nung September So, ayan, bumili ako ng 585 TRX Sumugal agad tayo Kahit di tayo sigurado Pero, yun nga is Nasend, na, nasend niya sa akin Ayan, done, as you can see O, oh, napapalakpak tayo dyan kasi dumating talaga. And kaya ako nakatipid ng TRX, guys. Kasi mura yung ano nila, mura yung ano niya dito. Okay? So, pangalawang transaction ko, yung 9TRX nga na pinakita ko. Kasi kailangan ko uling bumili gamit ang energy para hindi ako uh, nauubusan ng TRX. Alright. Ayan. Isi-send ko sa inyo yung, uh, Ibibigay ko yung link sa inyo Sa baba Para at least ano Kasi pwede naman daw i-share Pero ito Tinetestify ko lang na Para at least sure kayo Na hindi siya scam Na di-deliver siya And syempre hopefully tuloy-tuloy diba Ayan ang dami Ang dami dito Alright So yan Ayan, ito Bumili ako Address ko to Nang TRX Kasi Bumili uli ako ng NFT Ng Devikin So, ayan, oh, great Thank you Ayan yun Sishare ko ngayon sa group uh, Sishare ko ngayon sa akin channel Kasi nga Okay, okay yung ano niya At malaking bagay at makakatipid ka talaga Tapos ito naman yung pricing nyo O, oh, diba? Energy rental for 3 days So, imagine 100k energy 9 TRX lang Alright So ginamit ko yung 1000 energy Kasi nag-send ako Nag-try ako ng ano ng, Nag-send ako ng Ng Devikins NFT Sa another wallet So yon 75,000 So kung bibili ka naman ngayon ng Ng NFT Devikins NFT dun sa shop So 1.2 million Ayan, so 19 TRX Okay, 1.2 million sa 10 packs So yun So yan, no, 90 TRX lang oh, Kumbaga, 
malaking ano, malaking saving siya actually. Tapos 3 days siya in furnace. Nare-recharge siyang energy. So, yun yung pinaka-the best niyan. Kung baga, kung meron kang budget, pang, may budget kang DVK, tapos instead na mag, alam mo yun, bumili ka ng bumili ng TRX, so, better tong ano na lang, tong energy ang gamitin nyo kasi nare-recharge siya. So, ibig sabihin, Within 3 days, makakabili ka ng DVK as long as may, de- may DVK token ka, makakabili ka sa shop. Alright? So, yan. So, yan ating quick update. So, maraming salamat. Yan. At least tinapos nyo yung video. So, nabigay ko sa inyo yung pinaka-secret recipe. Uh, kumbaga, kumbaga, napakalaking source nito. Okay? Makakatulong to sa inyo para makatibid kayo ng TRX. Alright? So, ilalagay ko na lang rin yung, ano, yung, kanyang, yung link nito sa baba. Para at least, uh, mas madbilis mo siyang mapuntahan. Okay, alright. Once again, maraming maraming salamat. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And click the notification bell pa ulit para masuportahan nyo naman ang aking channel, guys. So, maraming salamat and hopefully nag-enjoy kayo. See you guys. Thank you. Keep safe always and God bless. Bye-bye.